Jak się masz? Z Polish Explorer in Wales, day 5. Unfortunately, this is the last day. We're going back home. And I really have to show you uh, promised snow has arrived. Just look behind me. covered in snow but here yeah, behind me <laughs> we get off the mountains right now a little bit. I just want to show you. We are driving along the coastline and we are in Lanaber, if I could remember the name. And the whole place is located in like a bay. And look at that railway going over the bridge. Along the coast, disappears somewhere there, I guess. It's probably going all the way along the coast because I can see the train stations from time to time. And that must be the Port Madoc. It just disappears in a tunnel. Now you can see the whole bridge for the railway. And the estuary. We have just passed turning into the Mahloub. Uh, well, actually, we are at the entrance of Mahloub right now. If you look, 
that's where the planes, that's the direction the planes coming from. And that's how they fly through the valley. And that, those hills there, that's what we got a few days ago for them to come, but they didn't come. The cut, I don't know which one is cut west, which is cut east, but as you can see above, that is, I think, the goal it is. And you can see it's slightly powdered with the snow. Everywhere. If you look closely, in the shadows there is still remains of snow. But and right now we driving through the part of the Mahloub. That's not the place where people film the planes. But yeah, it's called loop, obviously, because they're driving, uh, I mean, they're uh, driving, they're flying around. The valleys uh, make sort of like a circle, and this is a part of it. I'm pretty sure. Because they are very nice and tight valleys will show you the view around. I guess you probably can see the nice hill on the right hand. And yeah, the deep valley on the right hand.
We stopped at that reservoir I did show you on the way in and I want to do some flying with the drone and indeed I did but it's cold as hell and it was it is a bit windy and yeah a little reminder of how you have to be careful with the drone and uh, while landing I don't land I don't like to land it I like to catch it myself so it doesn't hit anything with the propeller and yeah while I was uh, trying to grab a drone uh, the wind probably swing it a little bit and I stick my finger definitely where I not supposed to <laughs> one of the propellers caught it and yeah I don't know how deeply is cut oh yeah it is in two places or in one place yeah I love the taste of iron <laughs> so anyway oh, my hands are like 
I got no feeling whatsoever after what was that seven minutes maybe not yeah, not, not even yeah. ten minutes flying. <laughs> uh, now I need to warm myself up and I can use my first time I can use my emergency kit. <laughs> I got uh, on a Christmas from this <laughs> lovely lady and now we're gonna use it. <laughs> Hello everybody, we just made the stop to have a breakfast and drink something and look, it is snowing here. So yeah, we may not yet get away from Wales <laughs> with our summer tires. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we back on track and believe me or not, but right on the, on the left hand I don't know if you can see that probably at the end of the picture that's not a fog, that is a snow we did already pass through uh, quite a heavy snowfall unfortunately my camera was, uh, the battery was dead and we didn't record it but yeah, what you can see ahead is a Brecon Beacon National Park and the Brecon is also under the snow. A mile, straight onto All right, this is the end of pretty much our travel today. We're back in civilization. Devon. On the Behind me, uh, you can see what is pretty much the last hill of the Brecon Beacon. Believe me or not, but Brecon Beacon uh, welcomed us with the snow and it was quite heavy, quite heavy in moments. I mean, you can still see all those clouds, those dark clouds, they dropping snow. So the, all the way through Brecon Beacon, it was just from one snowy cloud to another. But nothing settles on the road, luckily, so we will be able to come back home today. And that's it. That's it for today. That's it from our trip to uh, Wales. And I see you on the next exploration. High five! Brecon Beacon National Park area. 